you will have many 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 opportunities to opportunities to reinvent yourself and so uh, you know so i think you know it's worthwhile taking risks and trying to do something you're really uh, you know excited by and if the first attempt you don't do it you know you can try again and you know things tend to work out in the long run in silicon valley you know uh, you know part of the reason so many people st start up a company is you know starting up a company and even having failed you know you can wear it like a badge of honor right and uh, and i think that's important you know culturally you know uh, risk is rewarded i remember when i started working at google you know i if if i went and you know people were discussing ideas the other people who heard the ideas try to build on those ideas they encourage you so it's a culture of optimism it's a culture of risk taking and i think that's really important you know i would actually encourage all of you you know if at some point in your life you know you have to work with people where you feel a bit insecure right that's essential because that means you're working with people who are better than you and who are pushing you right and uh, so I'll always encourage if you if you actually feel very secure in what you do uh, you know that means you're doing something comfortable and you're not pushing yourself you know when i see entrepreneurs here uh, they seem no different to me uh, than uh, the kind of people i meet in the valley so intrinsically i think uh, india can do the same kinds of things and as the internet becomes more mainstream people feel more confident you have a much larger domestic market to tackle you know that will give you the confidence to tackle not just the uh, local market but global problems as well you know i think at google always you know we used to think about solving problems you know always what we would look for is will it one day apply to a billion people right and so if we, if we did something will it work for a billion people and we wanted to work on problems which people used in their everyday life and so we always ask those questions so everything we did you know when we worked on even things simple things like at the time google books you know the approach was what if we could scan all the books in the world and bring them online and so there was an inherent assumption of scale in everything uh, we thought and so that really helped shape my thinking uh, you know if you look at the scale of google to do something uh, you know to do a product well uh, building a building the product is only one aspect of it right uh, you want to be able to build it you want to scale it take it to market uh, how you take it to market how do you market it how do you sell it in certain cases uh, you know um, the end to end work that takes to make a product happen it's a very cross functional thing so we hire people from all kinds of backgrounds there are language majors at google uh, people who have done history people who are, you know who have done business commerce and engineering so uh, you know you know i'm i'm confident in fact the majority of people at google probably don't have computer science as an undergrad uh, background overall so uh, so follow your dreams and you can work wherever you want